Hello guys, this is a um, thought slash review of the season premiere of season 24 of The Simpsons. It's amazing, they're on their 24th year on television. It's insane. So I just finished watching the show um, straight on TV. I usually try to watch uh, the new Simpsons episodes live. Um, so this episode, it was alright. It was better than I expected for... Um, a season premiere, and for The Simpsons in general, since they're nowhere uh, as good as they used to be uh, like 10 years ago. But um, the episode focuses on Bart and his um, realization that he isn't good with girls, even though he's only a 10 year old kid, I don't know why that would matter too much. And he gets his family to travel down to New York City, the Big Apple, to visit and find one of his old girlfriends. Uh, throughout the show, they, you know, referenced and talked slightly about his old girlfriends from the previous seasons, like ten years ago, like um, Reverend Lovejoy's uh, daughter, um, a few other ones, and then just a few random ones that they created just for the episode. Uh, the episode was okay. The references in New York, some of them were good, some of them were very pop culture, like they referenced the... Um, macing and beating of I think the Occupy Wall Street protesters last year which it was a quick little funny joke but I, I feel like that's way too pop culture um, they had a great reference to the um, what do you call it the guy that the salesman in New York if you remember watching this episode is back in 1997 that keeps selling Homer these weird clonk claws I don't know how to say it it's a weird pieces of meat on a stick and when he in this episode when he goes back the guy's you know like he's a massive uh he looks like a multi-million dollar uh businessman his he's no longer selling from a cart he has a building selling the stuff and he's in a, a nice suit it was just a great little reference i wish they had more references like that like um as soon as they mentioned that they wanted to go to new york homer's like oh don't you remember what happened last time in New York? And I was hoping they would actually show footage from the episode from 1997, but instead they tried, you know, with the new weird storyline, and it was just, like, not a good reference. Um, so the focus throughout the show is Bart um, searching for his ex-girlfriend, and he finds her, and, you know, he, he realizes that girls still like him, and on the side it's uh, Homer... You know, running around New York with him, traveling, checking out stuff, and then on the, uh, I guess you could say the alternate storyline, the less focused storyline, Lisa and Marge are going through the city, bargaining and trying to check out every tourist um, little destination and stuff, and they're finding that quite, you know, difficult, and um, the episode as a whole was good, it's still good. It's The Simpsons, as they've been for the last five or six years. You know, great animation, quite a bit of pop culture, still funny gags, and occasional uh, really good jokes. This episode had some good ones. It's a, worth a watch. And um, I missed the couch gag at the beginning. And um, at the very end of the episode, they actually had this quick 15-20 uh, second um, clip where The Simpsons family is telling us, the viewers that they are holding a contest for people to submit their own couch gag and um, the winner will get their idea used in the final episode of this season so for people who are interested in that I'll put a link to the simpsons.com below and I I I tell you go for it try to submit it see if you can get a cool uh, couch gag for them because that's one of the most recognizable bits of uh, this historic TV show. I want to thank you guys for listening and um, talk to you soon.